Hello, a warm welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us today to the Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Johnny Evans plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Yuri Tielemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Mason Mount on the flanks. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. And this confrontation is underway. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Ndidi. Bonnie! And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. Well, the term wily customer is often overused in football, but I do think it applies to Jamie Vardy. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything. Madison. And Iheanacho has it. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. move from Leicester could be and a goal to give them the lead they have their reward he doesn't mess about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top class finish and back underway 1-0 it is Romelu Lukaku now. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. Mount. Here's Havertz. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Now sending it in, foiling them effectively. Iheanacho. Won it back. Tielemans. Great opportunity. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Leicester City goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Tenemans. 
Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, what a midfield performance this has been. He's been clever on the ball, he's worked hard out of possession, and he's dictated the flow of the game. Absolutely. In terms of the pass, well, they've decided to make a change. And space to cross it. Oh, great defending. Jorginho. Lukaku. Oh, nothing. Space on the flank. Tielemans. Vardy. Madison. And a goal! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So on with the game. And it's been... Shielding the ball superbly. Tielemans... Cuts it back. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Substitution for Leicester City. Coming off the pitch. Number nine, Jamie Vardy, to be replaced by number 17, Luis Perez. Double substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 19, Mason Mount. And number five, and over it comes. We are away comprehensively. Number 22, Hakim Ziyech. And number seven, Engolo Kante. Ndidi. Madison. Just unable to take advantage. Lukaku. And nicely parried away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Evans. Zayunchu. Rather easy. And the final whistle, no doubt. Music to the ears of Leicester City fans everywhere. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, one man who acquitted himself well out there, Jamie Vardy. Sum up for us what you thought about his contribution. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?